let's be attentive to the moment. For the Lord comes to us in a special way, touching us with the gift of his love. Lord, we bless you, for you alone are holy. And because in your compassion for sinners, you sent into the world your Son, Jesus Christ. And so, Father, we ask you to bless this oil you have created. Fill it with the power of your Holy Spirit, through Christ your Son. We thank our mayor and our elected leaders who have a responsibility to protect our borders and to put procedures in place which will carefully scrutinize those who wish to enter our country. However, blanket refusals to allow immigrants from a given nation, ethnic or religious group to enter our country is un-American and unchristian. Finally, the priest is the one who governs. In this role, he imitates Christ the Good Shepherd. He guides the flock entrusted to him, living among them as one who serves. He builds up the church by making sure that the members of his flock are striving to meet the demands of Christian teaching and life. Not an easy task. It requires him to accept and embrace his duties as a pastor, as a shepherd, because he cares for his flock. He loves them. The priest governs them. He makes sure to lead them back to the right path when they go astray or miss the mark by what they say or do or by how they live. The priest does so gently, forcefully when needed, but always with charity, motivated by great love for his flock and for the welfare of their souls. 